Hello, and this is supposed to be my... This was not supposed to be a video I'm sitting here making. But I am. So, in my last video, I said welcome to my first video. Well, this will be my first video. And we, the Oilers, have overpaid Darnell Nurse, in my opinion. And I like Nurse, but... Nine million for eight years is a lot, especially when this year's a career year. Like, if we sign him to that contract, we should have waited until, um, like, after this season to see if that was just a career year or if he's actually going to keep this up. And if he, even if he did keep that up, I still do not, I would get, I think, seven million maybe. I do not think nine million is the way to go. I think nine million is too much. Uh, Darnell Nurse right now is currently 26. Which means when this contract ends, when this contract starts, he'll be 27. And when this contract ends, he will be 35. Because this does not kick in until next season. Which is exactly why I said we should have waited. He had a career year. Cool. Hopefully he plays like this this year. And if he doesn't, oh well. But now, even if he has a bad year this year, guess what kicks in next year? $9 million for eight years. So Ken Holland, really like, I'm loving him as an Oilers fan. I'm just loving him. Uh, Zach Hyman, oh well, not a, oh well, that was okay. Duncan Keith, I don't want to get in too much of the other stuff, but like, Duncan Keith signing, that was like, okay. No, wait, what am I saying? What am I even saying? I'm going off trap. Duncan Keith trade was horrible. Duncan Keith trade was trash. Ethan Bear trade wasn't great either. A young defenseman, he's gone. I mean, I don't hate it. Not great though. Uh, what else do we do? What else? Cody Cece. Oh my god. Horrible. Not horrible, but do you, you better hope he plays like that for the next, like, whatever, four years. But, the, again, like, signing people on career years for long contracts. You don't need to do that. And then what else do we do? I think that's that's it. I'm probably missing something. Oh, we kept the same goalie tandem. And I talk about that in a stupid video that'll be made later. But, like, that's so stupid. Kept the same goalie tandem. Didn't even, like, do anything with Mikko Koskinen. I didn't even think we were going to buy James Neal. And I wanted to. And he did, thankfully. But, man, you know. Anyway, um, Nurse. So this year, uh, 56 games, wasn't hurt. He got 36 points, 16 goals, 20 assists. Amazing. Uh, almost led the defenseman. I think he did, or was in the top for sure. He was one of the top leading defensemen in goals. And he was up there in points for defensemen. Not at the top, but he was up there. So good year, very good year. And not only that, plus minus, I usually don't like the stat, but a plus 27. That's pretty good. That's pretty good in only 56 games as well. Plus 27. Last year, 33 points in 71 games. So less points than he had this year in 20 more games than he had. And he only had 5 goals, 28 assists. Okay. But his defensive numbers, they weren't as good as they were this year. Once again... One of the things I'll use as an example of this, plus minus. Yes, plus minus is not a great factor, but when you go from a minus 2 last year to a plus 27, there's obviously a big difference in that range. And the year before that, minus 5. So, like, there's a big difference between plus 27 and minus 2, minus 5. So his defensive analytics this year were very good compared to the last two years and years prior to that. His points this year were higher than last year and years before that. Two years ago, 40, 82 games, all played all games, so he's pretty good when it comes to not getting injured, always has been. 10 goals, 31 assists. So basically, in 56 games this year, he very nearly got the same amount of points as he got in 82 games last year, or two years ago. And he got more points than he did in 71 games. And defensive numbers were way better. But we go ahead, Ken Holland goes ahead, and signs up for $9 million for eight years. And I like Darnell Nurse. And he is a good defenseman. But that's just too much money. Probably. And even if he did sign for $9 million, I think eight years is too long. That's going to go till he's 35. And I think this is going to be a contract. Maybe not at the start. But I'm going to say in four... So when he turns 30, I'm going to say. I think this contract's going to look like it's a little too much. Until he hits like 30, 31.
and I think it's gonna like go down from there. Like this is just a rough move. It's been a rough off season as a other fan overall, but yeah, we definitely overpaid for darn on earth. Um, we'll see. You know what? I'm saying this now, but he might light it up this year. And if he does, fair enough, and Holland, fair enough. Good job, I guess. But I just don't know if that'll happen. Like. I just don't see that happening, especially if they put Tyson Berry on the power play again. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Well, um, thank you for watching or listening or whatever. Uh, this has been your boy, Yak Attack. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll probably see you tomorrow or the day after when I post the other video I was planning on posting today. See ya.